Prime factorization, the factor tree. Before we can do prime factorization, we need to talk about what are prime numbers. A prime number can be divided evenly only by one or itself, and it must be a whole number greater than one. So let me give you an example. Let's look at three. Well, the only way three can be divided evenly is by itself, three divided by three is one, or divided by one, three divided by one is three. Now this evenly part means that when I divide, I don't end up with a fraction or a decimal. Let's try another number, let's try five. Well, the only way to divide five evenly is by itself, which would give us one, or by one which is five. Let's look at the number six for a second. Well, this number can be divided many different ways. For instance, I can take six divided by six and that's one. I can take six divided by one, which is six. But what makes this a composite number, which is different than prime, is that there's more than one way I can divide this number evenly. For instance, six divided by two is three, or six divided by three is two. So this is called a composite number. Numbers are either prime or composite, except for the number one. One is neither prime nor composite. And let me tell you, this is a fantastic test question. I love this question. I put it on tests all the time. One is neither prime nor composite. So let's look at doing prime factorization. Prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. And each prime factorization is unique to that number. So let's look at 15. I think the easiest way to show you is just to show you. So what multiplies to 15? Well, 3 times 5 gives us 15. Well, we know three is prime, so I circle it. And we know five is prime, so I also circle that. So the prime factorization for 15 is three times five. Let's look at another one. Let's look at 12. So we think, well, what multiplies to 12? And there's lots of ways, but let's take three times four. Well, three is prime, so I'm gonna circle it. But four is actually a composite number because I can take two times two to get four. And those are both prime numbers, so I'm gonna circle them. So the prime factorization for 12 is three, this guy right here, times two, this guy right there, times two, that guy. Now you notice I didn't say four times one. We don't want to use one when we do prime factorization. Why? Well, remember, one is neither prime nor composite. Let's look at the number 36. Well, 36, I always think of six times six. Well, we know six isn't prime because six is also two times three. Well, two is prime, so I'm gonna circle it and three is prime, so I'm gonna circle that. I go back up here because I'm not done yet because six, once again, is two times three. Two is prime, three is prime. So the prime factorization for 36 is two times three times two times three. Now I bet some of you are saying, well, Catherine, what if I used four times nine? Well, that's great. Let me show you that it doesn't matter what you start out with, you're always gonna end up with the same prime factorization. Remember, that's unique to every number. So we're gonna do nine times four. Nine isn't prime because I know nine is three times three. Well, three is prime, so I'm gonna circle it. Three is prime, so I'm gonna circle it. Four is a composite. Remember, composite means I can break it down even farther. 
and 2 is prime. 2 is prime. So I end up with 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. And you notice it's the same thing, except for in a different order. Let's look at these two numbers. They're a little bit bigger, but we can still do it. Let's look at 125. Now a lot of you are saying, geez, I don't even know where to start. But if it's an even number, remember, 2 will divide into it. And this one, if it ends in a 0 or a 5, 5 will go into it. So I know 5 goes into 125. So if I use my calculator, I do 125 divided by 5, I'll get 25. That tells me that 5 times 25 is 125. 5 is prime. 25 can split up into 5 times 5. And those are both prime. So the prime factorization for 125 is 5 times 5 times 5. Let's look at 213. Now this one's a little strange because it's not an even number. It doesn't end in 5 or 0, so those aren't going to work. Um, what I do is I just start from dividing by 2. 213 divided by 2 doesn't work. 213 divided by 3 actually does work. And I just go all the way up through 7. And if I get to 7, chances are what you're doing is a prime number. So 213 is 3 times 71. Well, 3 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. 71 is one of those weird ones that you're just going to have to start dividing, either by hand or using your calculator. 71 divided by 2 doesn't work. 71 divided by 3 doesn't work. 4, 5, 6, 7, none of those work. And it turns out that 71 is a prime number. So the prime factorization for this guy is 3 times 71. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you do prime factorization.